11. March 14, 2019, in dreams, I saw that I was in the vicinity of a very wide street. I saw how many Adventist brothers walked through it, and it reached a mountain, and they began to go up in their cars. The more they climbed, the steeper the street was, and this was of dirt. The instructions were, go at full steam, without releasing the accelerator, and so you can reach the top. I observed how many went up and some almost starting, and others at halfway, ignored the instructions and fell uncontrollably over the precipice. One by one I saw them go up, and time after time the same instructions were repeated without any result. Then I saw a sister. She got into her little vehicle and told me, please go up with me. I was allowed to go with her, and we began the march. I felt in my being the challenge of the great climb, and I began to see her fear. I encouraged her to continue and not take her foot off the accelerator. She was crying, saying, I can't anymore. I must stop. Put on the brakes. I told her, don't do it, otherwise you will perish. I put my hand on her leg from the accelerator and pressed, and the car accelerated more and with march, but with great difficulty. At a steady pace, we reached the top. There we were ordered to get off the vehicle, which, when we got off, I did not see it anymore. The path was very rugged and of great sloping downwards. It was dangerous. But we were given some instructions. Just look where we put our feet. We did so for a moment and began the descent. But reaching large stones, the sister wanted to rest. I exerted her to advance, but she wanted to stay there resting. When stopping, her feet slipped, and I reached to grab her hand. My strength began to strengthen, and I was able to hold her by the waist in the air and continue with her until I reached a lower place. And there, some men helped me with her, who helped to reach to the flat and safe ground to anyone who came after the long and difficult path to them. I was ordered to continue the path when I left the sister and hard to stay with them. But when she saw me withdraw, she ran and surpassed me and her life was once again in danger. I saw how behind a mountain, great flames of fire came out of the earth and this, the earth, trembled like a trunk. I ran to the sister and urged her to return to her safe place. The battle was much because her resistance was great until she gave in and resumed her retreat. Then I was taken to a plain. There many people I saw doing their chores of daily work, many overwhelmed by this. When they finished, they passed in front of a large glass where there was a man behind them and they handed over their sheet of hours of work and he handed them a green paper. They stayed looking at this paper and sad and distressed. They would withdraw. I was then exhorted to tell them, let go of everything and you will receive a hundred times more. But this, overwhelmed, could not understand how to do it. I heard these words and the instructions to repeat them in a very loud voice. Do not enjoy in what you have. Negotiate with what you have been given. Negotiate with what you have. So I started walking among them and repeating these words. Negotiate with what you have. Negotiate with what you have. A few started the action and started the movement. In their houses abounded the estates and began to sell them. And more sheets of green paper reached their hands. They sold everything they owned, houses, cars, belongings. And in doing so, they were carried by angels exalted in glory to a great leafy field of beautiful trees 
and crystal clear waters. There, paying with what they had, they came to own the land where they quickly began to work and harvested with hard work at hundred for one. They began to receive heavenly blessings and all apparent lacking was resolved and those celestial happiness and wisdom was their daily guide. Then I saw those who had stayed. Their sad and grave faces were a reflection of their bitterness. These had everything that the others released and were not happy. I saw how among them the low passions enveloped them and they passed to be more uncontrolled than the animals. Immediately, I felt a tremor and I was encouraged to leave and we left that place where the ground was shaking. I saw flames of fire coming out from behind a mountain and fire in the form of rays reached the people who screamed in terror. I urged them to leave quickly, but it was too late. Everything was soon engulfed in flames. I was then taken to a large door. It opened and I saw a large desk. There one sat on it. I saw how family entered two by two through that door. And I heard them say, two minus one is one. One taken and the other left. There will be crying and gnashing of teeth. I saw the agony of the one who was rejected and the sadness of the one who was accepted when seeing his relative rejected. With great love and tenderness, the one who was sitting at the large desk explained to the accepted one the cause of why his companion was rejected. While he explained, I saw how tears fell from his eyes on the large desk. The door closed and I didn't see any more. I just heard repeatedly, two minus one is one. One will be taken and the other will be left. There, beloved, I woke up. May God grant that each one of us can be accepted in Christ Jesus. Let's fight. Let's fight this race in such a way that we can't get there. May the Lord bless you all.